man. Who is he? Where is he? Why is he here? Isolated in space and around massive matter live some several billion intelligent beings. Man. But what is his origin? Some say he evolved from the slime of the sea. Others that a god created an Adam and Eve and he was their descendant. Yet another speculates that he was brought here sometime in the distant past when the Earth was colonized by men from another dying planet. Despite the theories and speculations, the answer remains an unsolved mystery. As to where he is, that's easier. A planet 8,000 miles in diameter, located in a remote portion of a galaxy, somewhere, somewhere in infinite space. Why is he here? That too remains an unsolved mystery. Occupied by his daily affairs, he finds little time to contemplate such questions, except for those moments on a clear night, when man pauses and looks to the star-filled heavens, and in his mind stirs an unanswered question. He searches his thoughts for an explanation, a key to the faint forgotten memory of his past. And perhaps at that moment, somewhere else in the universe, on a distant planet similar to his own, somewhere on the other side of our galaxy, other intelligent beings wondered too, and set out in airships on an adventure through space to search for their answers. November 2nd, 1967. Two men are driving west of Loveland, Texas. The night is clear and still. Then around 11 p.m., they have an extraordinary experience. and check it. After the object disappears, their lights come back on, the engine restarts, and they hurry to notify the police. Later, the Air Force investigates their story and 15 similar reports for concluding that a form of globular lightning was responsible for the sightings. But there are many other possible explanations. What you're witnessing is based on fact. Some will find it fascinating. Some may find it frightening. But it is all true. With special thanks to NASA and the Department of Defense for their cooperation in our search for UFOs. It has begun.